ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a video today where I'm going to show you how I make the custom kits for my FIFA 23 career modes. Today's video will just cover how I make the kits using this wonderful website, fifacreator.com. So if you want to check it out, um, I'll put a link down in the description. But I'm just going to run through real quickly how you can make custom kits to use with PC mods. And uh, in some future tutorials, I'll show them how, you know, how to insert them into the game. So uh, yeah, very simple here with this kit creator. You can sign up, get yourself an account. It does cost money if you want, you know, everything that I do show on here, but we'll go through and, and, and do most of the free stuff uh, and show you how it all works. So you've got different views here of, of your kits for you to play with, uh, but we can start here in the settings. Now, if you come here to select the preset, anything here with the uh, exclusive is because I have a paid version, but there are free ones here. So you can start, there's heaps of different kit manufacturers that they've put in um, and, and different you know setups from yesteryear. Uh, if you wanted to start with a clean with no sponsor, that's fine. Generally, I would start with the top of the kit. Uh, so then you can play with all these other things, but let's just keep it simple here at the moment. We move down here into logos. Now, currently this badge well, there's no logo for this one. You've got a whole heap of presets here, so you can choose a brand if you don't want to use one of the ones that's already in there. Uh, they've got a whole heap of different uh, options for you. So we'll just pick something real quickly here. Um, let's just make ourselves a Adidas Gucci kit. That'll change the badge for you. You do have the option to uh, change the color of this. So I could say select red. That will change red for everything. If I want a different uh, shorts and the likes, I just have to check those boxes. Next, we'll have the team. So we could pick a team. Let's just do uh, whatever they've got loaded in. Clone. And that will add the badge. Uh, you can recolor uh, them, but yeah, unless they're a monochrome one, it's not going to uh, change that out. So if we did want to go and make it a monochrome, there is some mono ones. And now that should fix that into, you know, a decent logo. So you could change the color and, and work on different kind of kit looks. There we go. Uh, sponsors, you can add a sponsor to the kit. They've got some preset ones up here. Uh, let's just go with the uh, seven up. That should pop onto the kit. There we go. Uh, we can do a back sponsor. So if you just click your mouse and you can rotate around, we can add a back sponsor as well if we wish. Uh, so let's just add two two bet. There we go. That's on the back of the kit. You can use sleeve logos, but sometimes the um, the in-game badges will overlay over the top. So um, if you wanted that or a sleeve sponsor, you can do it that way. Generally, the game's going to put the league uh, kits on there for you. So generally, I, I won't touch the, the sleeves unless you're a bit more familiar with how to take that off and not make it look a, bit, a little bit weird. So there we go. Those sponsors, you've got a basic kit done already. Next, we can move here into the actual shirt. Now, um, if you want to see any of these, like the captain's armband, you can just press the C here and it will show you what the captain's armband looks like. So you can uh, find a preset armband. Uh, so we can just choose a captain's armband like that and now it changes it into colors that we can manipulate any way we wish so if we want him to have a nice pink armband perhaps I don't know whatever whatever suits you and then you can hide that because that's obviously only going to show on the captain there are options that do turn on and off so that's what the eyes are for the only thing you can't turn off is the base layer uh, you can choose your colors or the color wheel so we might go a bright blue, pull out a black, and then do we want sleeves colored or we don't want? It's really up to you. You can spend hours doing this kind of stuff. Now, that's just the base. Then you can move in to add more layers. You can add your own graphics. You can upload them themselves. Um, if you go into a graphic pack, there's a whole heap of different things that you can really get lost in. Um, so we can just add, you know, some colors this is going to be the most absurd looking kit but yeah we're, we're just having a play here and then you can start seeing okay maybe i need to rebadge the logos um the sleeves aren't really working so maybe i would go for a, a light blue sleeve to go with this then i'd go back uh probably not go for the monochrome badge turn that color off okay and then the badge there for the brand is probably needs to be black or white you'd feel you can put an outline around it if that helps with this border option and then you change the top color 
just to make it sort of stand out a little bit more so you've got options you've got options um you can add as many layers as you want you can add text uh patterns and everything we move into the shorts if you want to see it in full you can just click here uh maybe we'll go for some uh yellow shorts okay uh nothing there but of course there's graphics and and all that kind of stuff if you really want some crazy shorts you can do that kind of thing probably not my cup of tea uh socks as well you get to play with so we can change the color of those maybe we bring that blue back in and there we go we've got a kit it's as simple as that you can add whatever you want you can check out how the long sleeves look um you've got other settings here to sit on a mannequin they've thought of everything so if, if you get on here just have a play all you want to do is have a play and you'll see how that kit's looking pretty comfortably uh then you will go save i'm not going to save it because i don't want this one added to my uh list but once you finish creating your kit you can then download it and it will create a full package that you can use later for modifications take a little bit of time to uh, gather all those resources and put it in a nice little zip folder for you depending on your uh, pc and, and that so now we've got a little zip folder here and then you can just unzip extract it to kit and then in that folder it's got everything that you need that we'll cover in a future tutorial so uh all of these you will need uh even a little nice little mini kit for you to utilize but yeah there we go that's how you make kits that really quick and simple you can spend a lot of time i'll load up uh you know how i tend to to work now uh, we'll go with the latest kit we've got here for 1860 munich that i'm currently doing my youth edition series with change the kits every single season uh once the mods were in play but you can see there like i've got sleeves uh extra text on the back logos and all that kind of good stuff uh if you really get involved you can see like there's a lot of layers here to add all these little extra details just to uh make it look nice let's turn that mannequin off and you can really get crazy with it and for an example if i load this year's goalkeeper kit for for season number six do 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 this is a big kit he's he's got a later housing on so th that's how crazy you can get if you wish it's completely up to you but FIFA kit creator, not sponsored or anything, just uh, yeah, a really good website to play with. Even if you just want to make kits and not even use them in your career mode, you can design a lot of things on this. So get in there, have a play, get some kits made, and I'll have some tutorials coming up in the not too distant future on how to start putting these into the game and utilize them on PC. Thanks very much for your time today. I'm Sparring DK. It's five o'clock somewhere, and you have a good one. The Sparring DK channel now has Patreon, and if you feel like just going that little extra step to help, uh, you know, the channel grow, you can go across to the website, pledge your allegiance to myself, and uh, for one dollar a month, you're basically putting it in a jar and allowing for us to go and buy some more beers and record some more beer drinking episodes. Thank you very much to the current lads that have gone ahead and supported the channel. Absolutely tremendous to see anybody willing just to give that one dollar a month at this stage. I cannot thank you from the bottom of my heart. You you really will make a difference in the future. So jump across there if you're that way inclined to the Patreon channel, sign up today, and we'll see if we can get some extra beer drinking episodes for you at home. Now, if you are looking for some more content, we've got a couple of videos, one here, one here, and if you want to subscribe, there's a button right there. So go ahead, subscribe, and you'll be notified when the videos...